colors mix and match together. So it makes wardrobing very easy. Staying in your palette helps uh, the color analysis and it also helps uh, in the wardrobe planning theory. I'm going to actually do uh, a color analysis on my daughter, Emily. Uh, Emily is a stylist here. And since COVID, we have been living together. Hey everyone, we miss you. What I'm going to do first is actually drape Emily in a warm and a cool uh, swatch. The, the pink represents the cool and the peach represents the warm. The four seasons are divided into two categories. There's winter and summer. This being winter, this being summer, which are both the cool seasons. And then there is spring and autumn, this being autumn and this being spring, which are both the warm seasons. So first of all, we need to determine what undertone Emily has. So as we age, uh, we age down the center of our face. So underneath the eyes, you get a little discoloring. Uh, your, your lines around your mouth uh, tend to deepen and darken and you uh, create shadows around the jawline. So wearing the wrong color actually enhances all that. So what we wanna do by wearing the right color is give the skin its natural glow back and detract from the center of the face and bring it back up to around the eyes. So watching Emily down the center of her face, when I take the pink away. You can see how not only did Emily's color in her skin draw down to the peach, but also added um, some discolor or a little bit of a yellowing to Emily's skin tone. So I'll do that again. So there's the pink. Then you take that away and you can see that soon as, just by ripping it away, you can see that the colors left Emily's face. Now I'm going to do it with some other colors as well. We're going to work in the green palette. So every season has every color in it. What we do is we work with different tint tones and shades color. So if you come in and say, well, I really don't like navy. Navy has nothing to do, or particular colors have nothing to do with each season. Every season, uh, winter, summer, spring, and autumn have all colors in them. What we work with is different tint tones and shades of color. So here we're in the green palette. So this is Emily. This is the winter and the emerald. Then we've gone down to the summer, the jade, the spring, and the fall. And as you can see, as I take away the colors, uh, first of all, this one, uh, being the worst of them all, you can see how the color's really wearing Emily. We've kind of lost her, her little face there. Where I put the spring back on, it's getting a bit better because of uh, Emily does look good in color. You can see how the summer color is bringing a little more light. It's almost like an underlit uh, complexion to her, to her skin. But even though Emily is fair, you can see how the, the darker green, the jade, uh, not only is not overpowering Emily, but almost gives her a, a tanned like appearance. And that's what wearing the right colors will do. It'll bring back your natural color or it'll add color to your skin. Um, so now we're going to look at the yellows. Same thing. Here we have the winter, the depth. Then we have the summer, which is a little bit softer. We have the spring, which is brighter again, but a little bit, um, Emily has a lot of um, melanin in her skin. And so you can see by, as soon as we get to the, uh, the more yellowed colors, how her skin tends to turn a little more towards the yellow side. And you can see by this, she is definitely not an autumn. Unfortunately, color analysis has nothing to do with the colors you like or dislike. Uh, the, they have everything to do with your undertone. There's two things, there's skin tone and undertone. Skin tone is the color of your skin, but over time, your skin tone can change. Just by getting a tan can change your skin tone, but your undertone never changes. You're born with it. So that's what color analysis, we feel that color, the color analysis is really based on what is your undertone, and that's what we're trying to match. Uh, as you age, your, your skin tone can become lighter, but your undertone never changes. So 
So here we have the summer color again, which is okay. But ultimately, we want to look better than just okay. We always want to look great. And by wearing the proper colors, that's what happens is you always look your best. Now the two, you can see how these two um, are, the winter and summer are both sister seasons. Sister, because they're both, they're both very cool seasons. So theoretically, you can switch between the two. But again, because the ultimate, you always want to look your best, it is best and for wardrobe planning to stay within one season. So for Emily, we would suggest that she stays within her, her winter palette. Looking at the spring and the autumn colors, these two are also sister seasons in the warm palette, this being autumn, this being spring. And of course you can, uh, so if you figure out that you have a warm undertone, you can go between the two seasons, but ultimately you, it is a lot easier for wardrobe planning to stay within one palette. There is an array of colors. This is just a small spectrum of colors that are available in each season um, as you can go lighter or darker than any of these colors. This is just gives you a color spectrum. Now going back to the winter palette, Another re a great reason to have your colors done and to know your palette is for wardrobe planning. The uh, season is divided into three divisions. There's neutrals, lights, and brights. Your neutral colors are great colors for, well, they used to say your most expensive pieces. So if you were looking at buying a new winter coat or if you're buying a really good suit or you wanna buy an expensive handbag, Neutral colors are great colors uh, because they're, they're consistent and they're actually your base. So in the winter palette, uh, the black, the grays, the chocolate brown, and the navies are the neutrals. The lights are all the pastel colors, which is the soft gray, the light pink, the light, the baby blues, um, and then there's the bright colors. So brights obviously um, are being the most memorable. Those are the ones that you can have fun with. But for your more expensive pieces should be bought in your lighter, in your new, more neutral colors. You can also use your palette for um, hair color, which is a big topic right now. Um, if in your season, winter is uh, theoretically the only season that can go gray because they have gray in it. Now, what will happen is people will gray, uh, other seasons can go gray, but they will just gray differently, more with a reddish undertone to it. Um, but if you want to uh, add gray to your hair in your, say, a spring or an autumn, as you can see, there's no gray in these palettes at all. So therefore, wearing gray uh, in your hair color is not a great idea. You can also purchase all your makeup in your seasonal color. So the, the pinks and the reds are great for lipstick colors and blush colors. The rest of the hot, bright palette is great for eyeliners. And then of course your black and your, your mascaras. So how you know you're wearing the right color is when your face appears to have a lit from underneath. Uh, your skin appear, appears to be fresher and younger looking your eyes are enhanced and you notice, people notice you and not just the color. So how you know you're wearing the wrong color, there's darkened color shadows around the, underneath the eyes and around the uh, mouth. Uh, your complexion becomes a little more ready and uneven. And also people only compliment your clothing and the colors and they never notice you. Um, so once we open, we would, we hope to uh, uh, do a color analysis event. So watch out for that. And uh, if anybody has any questions, that would be great. We actually had two questions um, ahead of time. And one of the questions was, um, can your season ever change? Our belief is that no, your season can never change. Um, what will happen is as you age, um, you might choose different colors within your palette. When you're young and beautiful, like, uh, like Emily, um, you can experiment, experiment a bit more and wear um, 
you know, uh, kind of go into the funkier end of your palette with the brighter colors. Uh, but you're, it's more uh, the psychology of color that changes as you age. You just will straight, you may st stay uh, darker colors or you might stay in the lighter end of your palette. Um, the second question is, can you be more than two seasons? Or can you be two seasons? And again, um, our philosophy is no. Um, you can, as I discussed before, you can stray, um, but into, like if, in Emily's case, she could stray into the summer colors. Um, and what she would do to compensate that is maybe making sure her makeup is a little bit stronger in the winter palette. Um, if you are going to cheat, it's very, very important to wear the right color makeup, the right color foundation, the right color blush. Um, but if, if you want to be two seasons, I would say you either pick warm or cool. Um, I'm not sure. Rachel is the one that's going to narrate if there's any more questions. Uh, no further questions yet. Um, I've opened up the chat box. If anybody has anything, they can uh, type it in there or unmute. One way to maybe experiment at home with your colors uh, to figure it out is if actually go in your closet and see if you have any thing peach uh, or pink, do the color analysis yourself. Um, we do suggest that if you're going to try it, you have absolutely no makeup on. If you've colored your hair, you cover up your hair uh, and you do it in natural light, uh, not in, um, a, uh, uh, you just want to have it uh, be in by a window and do it in more a natural lighting. And then that way, and watch down the, what happens down the center of your face. So Jenny has a question. Um, I've unmuted you, Jen, if you want to go ahead with your question. Oh, thanks, um, Lisa. I was just wondering, can you extrapolate a little bit more on the difference between undertone and skin tone? Okay, undertone um, is kind of what your skin is is made of um, with the with the with the colors. So it's almost uh, more of a deep. Uh, happening where a skin tone is more of a surface happening. So that's why your skin tone can change. Um, it can change if you're based on medication. It can change uh, from winter to summer with a tan where your undertone um, and you can see your undertone in your wrist uh, that actually never changes. So as a, if you look at a brand new baby, you can definitely see their, uh, their undertones, the freshest because they have uh, the thinnest skin at that point and, uh, and blemish free. But your skin, to your, your skin tone is more of a surface color and so that's why it can change with a tan or with medication. Okay, a couple more questions coming in. Uh, Deb asks, is there black in every palette? Unfortunately not, um, and I know, and this is why a lot of people really feel that they uh, would like to be a winter because of the color black. But what happens is autumns and winter colors are black based. So winters, or sorry, autumns could cheat uh, and wear black. Everybody can cheat and wear black bottoms. Um, or black shoes, but it's really what's around the face that matters. Um, this autumn and winter are both shaded colors, so they have black base. That's why they're a little bit darker in coloring, where the spring and the summer palette are, are uh, tonal colors, and they have more of a white base to it. So it's as if somebody had added white to their coloring, and that's what makes them a little bit lighter. It's really what's around your face that matters. So black pants, even a black jacket, but say in a, if you're in autumn, if you had the black jacket, but with the moss, uh, the moss underlay and something that's right around your face, or a good way to uh, counteract the black if you're going to wear black, because it is a good wardrobe color, um, is to use gold or silver jewelry. Theoretically, uh, winters and summers are to wear silver, and autumns and springs are where to wear gold, mainly because of the gold undertone, the yellow undertone and those. So that's another way to easily uh, adapt um, if you're wearing the wrong color. The other thing is if you, if you stay within the color analysis, you will find, for example, going back to the autumn palette, 
black will be okay with that but you'll find as you get into wardrobe planning and the and, and if you follow the nine equals 36 you'll find that the black isn't even needed because you have so many like the camels and the browns and the russets and i don't know uh, uh this beautiful orange color with Dor which dorothy schumacher did this year in a suiting um you'll get to a point where you don't even miss your black because you have so many other great colors uh that you can mix and match with Okay, a few more questions is, so being a winter, as we age, where should we go with color? Um, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. It's more of what you personally, it's, you get more into, the, I, th I feel the psychology of color more than whether you should go light or dark. Um, a lot of uh, gray-haired women, um, as they age, w w wearing a black turtleneck looks stunning. But on the other hand, a gray-haired woman in a, in a red turtleneck would look stunning. So I think it's, it's more the psychology about what makes you feel better. Uh, you might find that the heavier colors are, are too harsh as you age. Um, but you also might find that the lighter color, the lighter end of your palette is too light as you age. So it's more of a psychology and experimenting. There's no hard and fast rule that as you age that you need to go light or dark. Uh, it's really, it's really personal preference. Okay, so last question so far is for patterns and colors, would you work off of the base color of the print or the major print over top? I would say, and I'm just gonna grab one here. I would say I would work off the base, the, the, the color that's the most dominant. So if, if the color, if the blouse is dominant black with splats of color like this one is, then I would say that uh, would be more of a winter print. Um, even though it has this, the, the, the orange in it and the sharp yellow, which could uh, fall into the autumn's category, I would say this is more of a dominant winter print. To grab another one, you can see how this print is, is predominantly autumn's. Even though it has the black in it, you can see how the base color is that um, beautiful mustard color. And so I would predict this as being uh, an autumn's print, not a winter's print. Okay, last call for questions. Uh, one thing that we do do at Hangar 9 is we do buy to represent all four seasons. So that's why sometimes you'll find uh, maybe more color in our store than most. Um, the, the most popular, the most marketable seasons are winter and summer. Um, so as a, as a society, we have been raised to really, really like those two seasons uh, because they're the most marketable. Um, this is the most unmarketable when we, uh, I don't know if a lot of you know this, but we had the Colors franchise back in the 80s. And um, there wasn't one person that, and that came to get her colors done that said, oh, I really want to be an autumn. No one wanted to be an autumn. I actually had tears on some customers uh, because they were labeled an, an, an autumn. Um, uh, but because we are really programmed to like, everybody wants to wear fuchsia. But once you discover that you're, uh, if you discover that you're a spring or an autumn, uh, you'll really notice the difference in how unique uh, those colors are and how um, important it is that you wear those colors. So thank you very much for tuning in. Um, uh, this was my first webinar and uh, it was uh, very stressful, <laughs> but uh, thank you for coming. And if you have any further questions that you think about later, you can email me at lisaf at hangar9.ca. And um, anyways, thank you for your time. Stay safe and stay well.